Hello, hopefully just a quick update video today. Just recently I reviewed this uh, FreeSky R9 M Lite Pro and I matched it up with a R9 MM OTA receiver which I installed on this Ishin Lao 5. Now the problem we had was the OTA function, the over the air update, just didn't work and I had to end up uh, soldering wires on to get the firmware updated to the, the bit I wanted to. And I managed to talk to FreeSky but it was unclear about whether it was the OpenTX firmware or the firmware in the module or in fact the firmware in the receiver and I couldn't get any sense out of them. Since that time two or three people, thanks very much, have told me that the OpenTX firmware has been updated and that OTA function does work now. So I'm gonna go through, update this uh, OpenTX firmware on the radio try the over-the-air update and just check it's all working and, and see how it does work. So even before I connected the radio, two useful things happened. I opened up OpenTX Companion and it prompted me to the fact that it had an, a more up-to-date version. Would I like to download it? So I did. And when I opened up that one, it told me that it had a more up-to-date version of my firmware. So I downloaded that even before I connected the radio. So we were all ready to go. Okay, well, I've just connected my radio and we can easily just double check it's uh, reading okay if we just try and read the models there they are not much on this one actually so I'm not really too worried about it anyway what I'm gonna do just before I start is just back everything up so if we do a backup radio to file uh, and I have a Tyrannus territory where I keep everything so I can say well let's just call it January 2020 Now we've already downloaded the file, so all I should need to do is install it. Right firmware to radio. That's the one I just downloaded and I put the 234 on there. Got my normal profile and it's basically, because we've already set it up how I like my radio, it's exactly the same as it should be. So let's just write that. The flashing is incredibly quickly. You sort of think, is it done? But let's find out. Okay, so if we look here, we can see that the um, version of OpenTX is now 234. I did miss a little bit out on that update, which was about putting the SD card contents on there. First time you turn it on, it would say um, that the, the firmware version didn't match the version string. Normally, it would be a case of just copying over the updated uh, SD card image. Because I have a load of custom sounds and stuff in here, I sort of merged that manually. but. Uh, just make sure you update something, which I have done. And I've basically put the uh, the the Lua scripts over and stuff. Anything that looked like it was updated, just kept my sounds. Anyway, we are here and we're ready to uh, try and flash this. So let's go and get the right model first off, which is the L5. Not a warning. Acro mode. Disarms. Okay. Air mode off. That's looking good. So actually I don't need to be in there at all, do I? I just need to try and flash that. So if we go to menu and then we go to firmware, R9M OTA 112. So it's got flex on it, but I'll try and install it over the top. See what happens. Oh, long press, flash receiver OTA. And then we wait for RX. Now this is the point where it went wrong last time. It should be a case of turning it on and then it should flash up with something. Ah, that looks way better. So yes, my RX is called Hello. Great name, huh? So we press that. Current version 112. Doesn't say what version of the firmware, which is annoying. So let's enter that. And it's doing an OTA update. Oh, it's working. And I'm just trying to see if we can see anything. We can just see there's a little light flashing in there that suggests it's doing something. But yeah, it's doing the update. The only other thing I wanted to check when it does this update, it's not bad speed actually, is it? Is uh, whether it stays registered, which I expect it should do, and whether it stays bound, which would be an interesting thing just to double check. I'll find out in two secs. Seems a bit quicker than doing it over um, S-Port, weirdly. So, come on. Okay, flash successful. That sounds good, doesn't it? So is this now as per normal? Let's have a look. So if I try and do something. Oh. Uh, air mode, air mode off. Doesn't seem to have. Let's reboot this. 
Well, as you can see, I can arm, and if I go into air mode, we get motor spinning, so no need to uh, rebind. So that is finally working. Quite why it didn't work originally, because like FreeSky know about OpenTX, they're a major contributor to it. Uh, so I'd expect them to have had that ready, but at least it works now. So that's good. I'm going to do my next video is going to be using not this quad, but another quad where we're going to use F port, we're going to hook it up to a GPS, see if we can get that data back to the radio, see if it all works like that. So join me for that one. But in the meantime, OTA updates finally fixed. Hooray! Well, you've made it to the end of the video, so thanks once again for watching. If you like what you saw, then please consider subscribing. And if you really like what you saw, then be sure to check out the link to my blog for a variety of ways in which you can help support this channel.